This is CNN Breaking News. It's not the campaign. This is Rick Santorum. I think everybody knows nobody puts words into my mouth. Uh, the words out of my mouth were that um, if you want a conservative as the nominee of this party, you must vote for Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney is hitting his stride. Yeah. Mitt Romney. Yeah. He, is, he is speaking with clarity, with conviction, with the heart and the mind together, which is what conservatives want to hear. They're looking for that, and, and Mitt is stepping forward at the right time. And we're seeing the differences between, as he, as he says very eloquently, the difference between where this party is going to go. Is this going to be a center-right coalition that Ronald Reagan put together that has governed this country so well for so long? Even during the Clinton administration, they, they knew they couldn't get their left-wing agenda because it was so firmly entrenched because of this was a winning coalition. And were we going to give that up as a Republican Party? Are we going to turn our backs and go back to the 60s and the 70s no! when, we, when, we were, when we were sort of foundering in the wilderness as cheap Democrats, basically? Uh, we didn't know who we were or what we were all about. We found our stride in 1980. It took us a while with Ronald Reagan. And through this primary, we haven't found our stride yet, but Mitt Romney is that voice, is the man, is the time, and Missouri is the state. This is the state, the winner-take-all primary, right here at the heart of America. Yeah. This is the state that will make the difference. I predict without que that Mitt Romney, when he wins Missouri, without question, he will be the nominee of the Republican Party. Yeah. Mitt? Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. Well, we're, we'll be happy to turn to you guys for any questions you have. Yes, sir. I said I'd repeal No Child Left Behind. He says he won't repeal No Child Left Behind. Yeah, there's no, he there's is no. not a conservative. That's funny. If there's anybody who's compromised his friend, Mitt Romney, uh, you know, uh, is, is supporting is supported a government-run health care system. Mitt Romney, uh, you know, is is someone who ran as a as a as a pro-choice, gay rights uh, supporting uh, governor of, of Massachusetts. I mean, you can go on down the list with Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney supported big tax increases in the state of Massachusetts, huge spending increases. Uh, the, you look at my track record. I have a track record of being a strong, consistent conservative. For Mitt Romney to attack me as not being conservative is laughable. That Mitt Romney was, you know, when, when I was out there fighting No Child Left Behind, he was out there, you know, uh, you know supporting and, and going to Planned Parenthood fundraisers. I'm standing up here as the consistent conservative in this race who, for, with, with President Bush's biggest initiative of his campaign that the American public supported, along with 90 other United States senators. I, I, I voted for that. It was a mistake. I admit it. And unfortunately, Governor Romney continues to support those big government liberal programs. This is becoming a theme, right? You and Romney going after each other. Uh, he, well, he I mean, also look, gave on the issue of earmarks, Megan. I mean, he, he, he supported earmarks himself. Again, it's the hypocrisy of attacking me on things that he himself supported. And, and to say that I'm not conservative because I was doing the same things that he was he himself was doing and and that's the, that's the issue that I think people don't under, uh, are, you know sort of failed to failed to see in that debate is I wasn't attacking governor Romney for doing things that you know that I was doing at the same time uh, that, that, uh, but he's attacking me on things he agrees with me on which is which is the height of hypocrisy you go and look into the folks who are who are running around with Mitt Romney or advising him they're all lobbyists Washington insiders I don't have anybody he has he has all of these people who are who are who want to keep the status quo into effect none of them are out there supporting me I don't want their support I'm out there voting and uh, running for the American people uh, Mitt look at his tax plan it's timid it tinkers we have dramatic change in the tax code. We're going to upset the special interests that are the folks behind his campaign. We're the guys out there that are, that are making and calling for the big changes. Mitt Romney is 
If for, for an outsider, he's got all every insider in the country running his campaign uh, who is trying to protect the special interests in this country. And we have folks from across this country who are in the states, who are volunteers, who are making a difference uh, and, and, and trying, to, trying to overthrow the establishment, big government Republicans that Mitt Romney has represented when he was in, 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 as a governor. Mm -hmm. And he certainly continues to represent those values uh, in this race.